I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences so you can better optimize the game for your system. And I will be giving you my optimized settings as well. But first, I would like to thank Xbox for giving me a code for this coverage. Let's start with the CPU performance. And it looks like the game is way more CPU demanding than it should be from what's going on in game. Because the environment is pretty static and there are very few NPCs or creatures at once. And the frame rates can get quite low, especially the 1% lows and enabling hardware ray tracing lowers CPU performance even more. And even with the shader pre-compilation step when starting the game, it doesn't seem to pre-compile everything, as there is noticeable traversal stutter and shader loading stutter. Thus, a lot of CPUs can't maintain a stable 60 FPS. Your best bet is to cap it at a lower frame rate to ensure a smooth and stable experience. Now let's get into the settings, starting with ray tracing. Enabling this setting uses hardware based ray tracing, and depending on the scene, it can have a large impact to the game's visuals. But in most areas, the difference in image quality is very hard to notice. It supposedly enables ray tracing on lighting, shadows, and reflections. For lighting, there was a noticeable improvement, but I couldn't tell any difference in reflections. While the shadows looked a bit different, but nothing immediately jumps out. Its performance impact on the GPU is smaller than expected, but don't forget that it still lowers CPU performance noticeably and it doesn't really offer a drastic improvement over the software-based ray tracing the game already uses. As for upscaling, in this scene, going from native 1440p to TSR at 67%, it still looks similar, while FSR 3 looks a bit sharper, but suffers from what appears to be dithering on surfaces, and DLSS quality looks a bit softer. Now for the motion test at 50% speed. Native has a bit of ghosting lasting for a few frames. It looks more like a trail of smearing in my opinion, while TSR at 67% looks a bit worse than native, in that it is less stable overall, with some shimmering going on. FSR 3 quality looks the absolute worst of them all. It suffers from extremely harsh pixelation, you can go ahead and pause the video to see just how bad it looks. I definitely recommend avoiding FSR 3 at all costs, and DLSS quality looks to have the least noticeable ghosting out of all upscalers, and is the most stable in motion. Therefore, it's my recommended option for upscalers. Otherwise, try using TSR at 67%. As for view distance, it controls the maximum distance and density of objects, characters, and details. Each option higher gradually increases their view distance and density, but I couldn't spot any further improvement with Epic in this scene. As for performance when GPU limited, it doesn't appear to have any noticeable impact. While it can lower FPS a bit when CPU limited, I recommend to use high to be on the safe side. The shadow quality on low looks bland and pixelated. Medium applies shadow filtering and high greatly improves shadow quality, while epic barely looks any different while costing a few more frames. I recommend high for the best balance. The texture quality setting has a small improvement to texture resolution and filtering with each option, to the point where I had a hard time spotting the improvements. As for VRAM usage, 
it appears to increase very little with each option as well. But overall, the game doesn't use a lot of VRAM. The shading quality setting seems to be broken as of right now, as it doesn't seem to have any difference in terms of image quality or performance, and I have tested many scenes to be sure. The effects quality setting affects the complexity of visual effects, such as explosions, spills, fire, smoke, and other dynamic elements. Low and medium look very similar, if not the exact same, while high starts to look noticeably better, and epic seems to look no different to high, but just lowers performance. Some effects can look entirely broken when using anything below high, like in this underwater scene. I recommend high for the best balance, especially if you're using spells with lots of VFX. The foliage quality setting controls the density and detail of plants and grass. Low can look somewhat empty, while on medium and above, it starts getting harder to tell the difference. And the performance impact of Epic is measurable, as this game uses a lot of foliage in its environment. My recommendation is high for the best balance. For post-processing, going from low to medium enables vignetting, and going to high enables light shafts and bloom, while Epic seems to look the exact same as high, at least from what I could tell. It also controls the quality of depth of field, where on low it's entirely disabled, and medium enables a low quality depth of field effect, and using high increases its quality a lot, and Epic seems to not look any different in this scene as well. So, my recommendation is high for the best balance. For reflection quality, going from low to medium significantly increases reflection quality, while high doesn't seem to have a noticeable improvement, and epic only has a small improvement while costing more performance. I recommend medium or high for the best balance, since they both perform the same. For global illumination, each option higher gradually increases its quality and accuracy, but its impact largely depends on the scene. For most outdoor areas, its impact is mostly subtle, while indoor areas see the most improvement with higher options. Medium and high have a small FPS impact, while epic significantly decreases performance. I recommend high for the best balance. And here are the optimized settings, alongside my Patreon supporters, or supporter in this case. Thank you Philip for helping support the channel directly, and you can do so too by going to patreon.com slash psychopath or clicking the link in the description. Now for the performance comparisons, at max settings with ray tracing enabled at native 1440p. The game averages in the 20 FPS range, and using the optimized settings while still at native 1440p, performance increased to an average of around the mid-30s, while the 1% lows are still dipping below 30 FPS, and turning on DLSS quality further increases the average FPS to around 50 FPS, and the 1% lows are not dipping under 30 FPS anymore. But even in this situation, the game hammers the CPU. Traversal and shader compilation stutter still occur, but not as egregiously as other notorious Unreal Engine 5 titles. Overall, I would rate this game's performance just below average, and I want to know your take on its optimization.